Shadows from the Past, Sanse Artists and the American Concentration Camps comes from a place deep within me. A background in creating exhibitions emphasizing the influence of Japanese culture on contemporary art, plus personal life experiences has resulted in this exhibition. This show is a timely reminder that we should be aware and confront racism rather than stand by and watch it happen again. An artist once told me that an art exhibition is also the art of a curator. I feel that this exhibition is certainly fulfills my own expectations of what that might be. Each piece of art contributes to the exhibition as a whole and tells stories of individuals and families. It is an art exhibition concerned with the reflections of Sansei artists' experiences surrounding their parents' and grandparents' incarceration in the World War II American concentration camps as a result of President Roosevelt's Executive Order 9066. It includes the work of Lydia Nakashima Degerad, Reiko Fuji, Lucien Kubo, Tom Nakashima, Naomi Judy Shintani, Masako Takahashi, and Jerry Takagawa. The artists selected for this exhibition work in all mediums, painting, sculpture, videos, mixed medium, and photography. They are all known in their fields and are active in Japanese American cultural activities. They have shown their work nationally and internationally in museums, galleries, and alternative spaces. The exhibition is centered on the idea that the Sansei generation had direct and intimate experience with either the incarceration or its victims, which has shaped their understanding of the present. Many of the artists incorporate family images and relics from the past. Masako Takahashi began her exploration of the camps at the death of her father. She uses her own gray hair and has created an abstract text which expresses her thoughts, agonies, and protests without fixing on a specific interpretation. In Tule Lake for Ted, Mako, and the Minidoka Nakashimas, Tom Nakashima has taken the script from his Uncle Ted's article in the New Republic in 1945, Concentration Camp, U.S. Style, and has incorporated into the ground underneath the jail. Naomi Judy Shintani crowdsources others who have familial associations with the camps, and she reproduces their memories in her installation. Lucy and Kubo makes assemblages that bring the stories of the camps to the present by combining imagery of the camps with present-day issues. Reiko Fuji uses family images encased in glass and mounted in the form of a glass kimono. She also makes videos with family stories and uses relics from the family farm. Jerry Takagawa intentionally places his imagery out of focus to encourage the viewer to create their own stories. Lydia Nakashima de Garad, who's from Chile, uses handmade cotton bowls representing the Japanese farmer combined with papers made from the fibers of the herb yerba, known for its healing qualities in Latin America, and the mulberry fibers used in traditional papermaking. Wendy Maruyama has created 10 groupings representing every person incarcerated using a camp paper identification tag. At the Monterey Museum, she has lent the tag project Manzanar. We also see many of her beautifully made wood sculptures with titles and imagery, imagery recalling the vicious names used to bully Japanese, such as, you're a sap, Mr. Jap. 